Alrighty guys, how's it going today? Well, there it is. They got the old shaft from that old PTO that we had. They pulled it out and from the old PTO, the head, the splined head that goes in the baler right here and then the old CV joint. We got this one in the CV joint and the inner on the clutch assembly, that splined head that goes into the baler. These two pieces go together, but I'm gonna take it home, put the plastics on. Where did we have this done? Right there. Dynamic balancing and machine works. So if anybody's in the Regina area, Saskatchewan, Southern Sasask area, or hell, even uh, Montana, North Dakota, and you're looking for a place to send something to get it fixed up get a hold of Harry or Almond over here at Dynamic Balancing and Machine Works good prices easy to get along with uh, they were quick about it um, what can I say you know at this point they got the job done for me so I can't complain too much right Anywho, uh, I'm going to let you guys go. We got to get this thing home, get the plastics on it, and throw it in the baler and see, make sure it's all going to fit properly and work. So, until then, yahoo, fun, fun, fun. Let's get her done. All righty, guys. Well, we bailing. Believe it or not, we are friggin' bailing. I can't believe it. But the wind has been blowing here since about 8.30 this morning blowing at approximately oh I don't know somewhere around that probably 50k mark and there we are we're back there we are we got the big baler on I came out I checked the hay I gave her three grabbed it in a couple heavy spots from underneath gave her three twists and the stuff is breaking so that's telling me it's go time also that's working also uh, we got the PTO shaft in the uh, in the big baler and CP's out here raking so it shouldn't take too long now to wrap up the rest of this field. So let's get her get her done, right? Pitter patter, let's get at her. So let's get her done. Can't believe that we're able to bail already, but wind does a can be a wonderful thing at times. So now we're going. I'll bring you guys back later. Have fun. Alrighty guys, while well, we're going. Uh, I had issues with that monitor and I think we figured out what the problem was before I thought it was just a loose connection in the box inside but after screwing around with wires I believe it's our actual plug we need to replace the freaking plug and yeah this isn't going to be the greatest quality I wouldn't call this a plus I wouldn't call this a I wouldn't call this a minus I would call this more of a C or a C minus quality feed there's still green in her and there's still lots of leaf but there is a hint of I wouldn't say black but brown there's a lot of bleaching that's going on but with all of that being said it's uh, it's uh, still well usable feed we could do a feed analysis on it and it'll be fine CP's just smiling holding her hands up there she goes 
<laughs> there goes the Coon Rake. And we're in the BR 780. And uh, Papa Smurf. And that would be another one. So with the BR 780, because we're making a bigger bale, we're making a five and a half foot bale. Five and a half high by five foot wide. Uh, we're doing about two and a half to two and three quarter bales uh, per row. So we're not getting three bales per row, but we're doing like just about two and three quarter. So every fifth row I end up with actually three bales um, got to be careful on my turns but anyway I'm getting like three bales on every fifth swipe that we do up and down so it's still it's it's still pretty good and if you look close you can kind of see the green in there still like yeah I could have stopped and showed you guys up close what it really looks like on the inside but I guess it's hard to see with the sun shining on you but there is green in there so that's a positive and it is some big friggin swaths like they're dragging on the bottom of the tractor really badly but anyway gonna have to stop here for another one right away there's 64 and 66 so it beeps at 66 and by the time I get it stopped we're usually pushing right around 67 and sometimes almost 68 okay talk to you later I can't believe we're bailing already but we're bailing yahoo thumbs up comment subscribe Fun, fun, fun. Let's get her done. We'll catch you guys later. Well, guys, there it is. Like 135 fucking bales out here. 72 1100 pound bales and 60 some 1550 average pound bales. And kicking that little fucker out that did not tie on the one side and whatever. I'll pick it with a grapple so it's no big deal. So yeah. On 42 acres, so 130 bales. What the hell is that? Like freaking uh Four and a half bales an acre or so, something like that. Can't complain with that too much. Probably would have been about four bales an acre if they'd have been all done with uh, with the big baler versus four and a half bales an acre. Anyways, that's her. I think I got enough for you for this one, so I'll let you guys go, and we'll talk to y'all later. And I'm going to park this tractor right in front of this other baler. That way nobody can fucking hook up to the little bastard and try swinging it sideways to steal it, too. Later, guys. And right through the fucking back window of the truck. Now there's a protector there. Right on the... Right on the fucking hole. Of course. Yeah. There it is. He's going camping with his quad. Gonna have some fun for a couple days.
not the first time he's done it. But is this a fr it's the first time you've pulled the camper with the quad loaded? You're gonna have fun with that job. The old half ton, Ford half ton is gonna get a workout. Later. Alrighty guys, how's it going? So it's basically noon, Friday. Uh, uh, no, it's Thursday. July the 21st, we're having a ball, aren't we? Made a pile of bales out there, got that piece done at least. CP's heading out to do the opening rounds on the creek field out there. And the stuff that was rained on, that was raked and then rained on and then raked and then rained on. Well, I just told her to leave it alone. There's one hot spot in there, it's a little damp. So I'll just go around that. Uh, this baler, I did a oil check on the tractor. Baler needs twine. And I'm running with twine right now because we got lots of it left over from last year. Yep, I'm gonna have to throw a box twine. But, so with our bale monitor, we found out it's the connector. We gotta get a new connector here. It's not holding together tight enough properly. So, the male half of the connector goes to the wiring side of the baler, back this way. The female half goes to the tractor the baler side of this connector, you guys get ready. If you're on heart medication, you better take your medication quick and you better sit down. Everybody sit down for this one because you're going to fall over. $308 just for the fucking connector and the pins to, so I can put a new end on here. Ain't that fucking crazy? For the other half, it's another 200 $500 for the male and female half of the connector, right there. Frigging nuts. Mm, so, plus tax, of course. Crazy. And I'd like to say I could take it off of this one, but this is not a bail command. Anyways, I'm going to grab twine out of this one, put it in that one, and then we'll get to bailing. We'll bring you guys back in a little bit. Well, this ain't fucking fun, is it? It'll be a while before we bail these swaths up when they're sitting in water. Oh well, what do you do? You grin and bear it and you go and do somewhere else. That's what you do. Later, guys. Okay guys, so we're out here with this alfalfa, heavy alfalfa clover that we cut. And uh, lots of guys are going to say, your shit is going black, so on and so forth. Well, it looks like crap on top, right? <laughs> but we're raking it over. And you can see the green. It's there. Underneath, it's still green. So it should still be good feed. But we got to rake it up. To get it to dry so we can friggin bale the stuff because where it was driven on oh my god there it's wet like hell even the yellow leaf is still in it right see that so that's good and with a 30 to 40 K wind here today it should dry nice I'm debating whether I should be raking two into one or just flipping one at a time but We'll give this two into one a chance. Anywho, we'll talk to you guys later. Alrighty guys, so you can see right here little pieces that the rake never pulled up. Well, that's where it was driven on hard and it was damp ground, everything else.
But I think these outer rounds, like CP's doing the last two rounds, putting them two into one. Uh, in general, they'll all bail, except for along that side where the trees are, up along that side over there where the trees are. There, I don't know if it'll bail today. But the rest of these should bail today. Hard to believe after how many inches of freaking rain, right? Anywho, I'm going to go back to bailing in the creeks area. So I'll let you go. We'll talk to you later. Alrighty, guys. Well, our bailing adventures for right now today are done. Um... We're up to 84 bales with the big baler. But we haven't touched any of that clover stuff yet. Clover alfalfa mix. I got a little bit of water run here in the creeks to bale. But it's way too wet. Uh, there's water sitting in a couple spots. So we got to just leave it sit. And we'll have to come back and take it and use it as straw. <coughs> That's all that's to her. Anyway, now, what's the plan? Well, the plan for me at this point, because that clover alfalfa mix stuff needs time to dry. So my plan is to get Papa Smurf over here, up to where the truck is, way down there, and where CP just parked. Way over there. Sorry about the bouncy, this old hay field is a little bouncy, but way over there. And I'm gonna rip the friggin' three point hitch arms off this thing. That's the plan. Anyway, I'll bring you guys back later. Okay, guys. So, crawled under here. And. Well, before I lose this stupid thing, put that there. I'll put that there. And these three-point hitch arms are pretty fucking heavy duty. Also, it's looking like it's going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass to get them out. I'm going to back you up a little bit. So there's a cover, which I took off already, this cover which goes on like this here and then you got to get one of them hex headed socket wrenches in there and there and I'm thinking this comes off and then I can slide the pin out to pull the bottom up bottom link of this arm out I'm thinking I have no idea well, we're going to find out here right away, right? Oh, that's way too big. So, once I get into it a little more, I'll bring you guys back. Talk to you then. Okay, so, got that out. Got the pin back in. You can see it right there. There's a three-point hitch arm hanging. Fuck me, that's a heavy bastard. Yeah, pull on that line. Ugh. You don't want that to fall on top of you. Especially smack you in the face. So now we gotta pull this pin out. And I can either pull this pin out here and drop it down. Or I can pull it out up here and take this and this arm all in one piece. I think I'm gonna pull it here and then I'll pull this arm off after just to make it a little lighter. <laughs> Yahoo! Let's get her done. Okay guys, we just stopped here to check on our oats. This is the last stuff we seeded. It hasn't headed out yet. It's about to right away. But look how tall it is against CP. It's up there. She's really gonna stretch up higher yet. 
and see that right there and another one right there volunteer sunflower from last year I saw some other shit that I that was volunteering there was some barley over there you can see that paler green shit that's a uh, barley volunteer barley from last year right here it's really thin but this is where we come into the field and it's just hard packed ground right here it's not doing so great here but as soon as you get past that then it starts taking off wherever it was driven on lots it's not as good but holy cow right in that area it's wowzers but on this hilltop here all this area right through here where I'm standing it was all uh, driven on quite a bit but she's knee high and mid thigh high and hasn't headed out yet so can't complain with that too much really and it's relatively quite thick I'm liking it I'm liking what I'm seeing Not sure why that's there. Almost looks like uh, some of the stuff that we seeded last year could be some volunteers still coming through. Some alfalfa still out here from when it was a hay field. <coughs> and still the odd twitch grass. Let's see here's this volunteer barley from last year it ain't gonna amount to nothing though it'll just make for straw but it's looking really good I'd show you more crop if I could get to it but we'd have a hell of a time getting to it down these back summertime roads out here everything is underwater so anyway let y'all go sure I got more than enough hopefully we'll be bailing some clover here in another hour or two hours so stick around see you guys then <laughs> yeah, see what this looks like I'm going to bury your ass out here. Holy fuck. <laughs> Bye. We're going to have fun cutting this. Won't be the first, it won't be the last. You full of shit, you're on your knees. That's moose. Moose, deer, whatever. Okay, here. Hopefully there's no right through here, this trail. Gonna have to watch for baby deer out here, is right. This is nuts. And getting out here is uh, a 4x4 four four track. Yep, yep. The old Dodge got dirty. Ugh. You're gonna have to get on their case. I'm not putting my V-bind through that. 
gonna have to. They can't grade the fucking road. How do you expect them to grade? Look after this. See what I mean, guys? Good thing we're in a Dodge, because I don't think a Ford will make it. <laughs> don't let off the freaking hammer yet. This is the bad one here. Are you really? <laughs> really? It's the freaking BCP Farm and Truck and Car Wash. I worked my ass off washing this truck. <laughs> so did I, just now. <laughs> Talk to you later. <laughs>